Hello, welcome to video seven for day seven. Today we'll go over the chariot. Well, we're gonna go over all, uh, we're gonna go for earth, air, water, and fire of sevens. But as I've been doing, we're gonna start out with the major arcana. And what I've started doing is I'm just gonna look at the cards, not read anything more than what's at the very bottom or across the center, I'm really not looking at the words and seeing if I can get a feel for what they mean. And then I, then I read the description. This one, except for this weird carriage thing that um, has moths for wheels, uh, but basically we've got uh, somebody with a chariot with two different color sphinx, we got chariot with two different color lions, um, mechanical elephant? Wouldn't you say that's an elephant? Um, fancy dressed up horses, crazy wild horses, um, and horses, horses pulling like a San Francisco trolley and he's just sitting on top. He's just like actually I don't think anything's attached to anything at all. The horses don't have harnesses. There's no reins. I, I, it's craziness. It's magic. So what I get from all this is control of disparate forces. Um, because yeah, you've got these two horses. They're different colors, but I mean, that shouldn't have any bearing on anything, but they don't seem to be running in the same direction. Same thing here. Here they seem to go in the same direction, but they're pulling. This, who knows? Moths do what moths do. This is just craziness. Um, mechanical elephants, they look like they're different sizes, but you know, mythical mechanical elephants, I, I don't know how those would work. So I'm going to say that's why she's got her umbrella, because elephants. Lions typically don't like to be in harness. Everybody knows that. You know, if you want to get something to pull your chariot, uh, lions are low on the list. Um, but these two seem to be going in the same direction. Different colors, but they're focused forward. They're in step. This is actually pretty coordinated and kind of cool. And then Sphinxes, another mythical beast like your mechanical elephant, actually tiny little mechanical elephant because I mean, she's up here and look how tiny, okay, I'll stop with that. Um, but here the Sphinx are also facing in two different directions. So, um, and being held on again, like this guy with no reins, he's got no reins, huh? they don't all have reins. It's craziness, craziness going on here. So what is five cent to row says determination and willpower? Well, of course you have to have willpower when you're guiding a chariot with nothing at all except your mind. Light seers, oh, I forgot to mention light seers, universal, Celtic, Illuminati, five cent to row, steampunk, ancestral path, and the quick and easy. This guy is doing this with his mind, just his mind. I know I'm moving a lot, sorry. Uh, and the quick and easy says the card of success, confidence and determination, victory over illness, enemies and financial problems. Wow. All three goals achieved through self-control, willpower and discipline. Focus on the battle at hand. Take satisfaction in your accomplishments, but guard against arrogance. You know, not the first time they've said that your reputation will be established. Respect is earned earned because you are guiding tiny elephants that are mechanical. Uh, but hey, besides that, I think I kind of got it. Determination will, because it takes willpower to keep things that want to go in different directions going. Okay, so let's go on to the elements. Oops, didn't get them all. And we will start with fire, which is the wands. And this is the staves. Wands. Matches. 
wands, more wands, and more wands. Okay. So we've got a guy fighting off other wands, but he's got the high ground. I don't know what's going on there. Um, she's got the high ground. Not currently fighting, but she's ready to defend her high ground. Um, matches and a bug. Don't know what that means. Here again, guy in the high ground with one wand protecting all the other wands. Um, hmm. Here it's sort of the same thing, but she's meditating, so... Uh, <sighs> Hard to meditate when you got wands poking at you, so concentration possibly. This being attacked by kobolds. Uh, so being attacked, but she doesn't seem to have the same. Well, in this one, she doesn't seem focused or paying attention. She seems like she's just screaming because her hair has been pulled. Uh, I don't get the same feel from that as I do the others, and. Pff, who knows? I'm going to have to read up on this. I mean, this doesn't look anything else. It's close. you got your rainbow colors. You've got the light coming from the center. Um, I'm going to have to read both of these. Well, I'm going to read all three of these just because after. So, five cent tarot. Challenges, yes. Perseverance. Uh, protection. Uh, inversely, exhausted, overwhelmed, and vulnerability. That makes sense because if this doesn't go well, then you're vulnerable because there's nobody watching your back. You just have to try to... Good thing everybody's on the front. Um, quick and Easy Read says you are on the defensive. Yes. Um, you have the advantage and will eventually win. Be strong and aggressive. Expect criticism and challenges to your authority. Stand up for yourself and for your ideas. You will never regret your actions. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't get that from these two. So I'm going to, well, really quick, I want to look up this Seven of Wands because the hair pulling, that just doesn't seem right. An unequal struggle if you are fighting against invisible beings. <laughs> of course it's un it's unequal if you're fighting against invisible beings, but they're not invisible. I see them right there. <laughs> This is hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> this should be serious. Um, but adversity. Okay. It does have adversity. But <laughs> Those are not invisible. You see them, right? Beep. Okay. <laughs> seven of staves. What do you mean? Oh, seven of staves. Because... Uh, initiation. Induction into mysteries. Solving the riddle of the Sphinx. Well, there was Sphinx before. We've got will, fire, to know, air, to dare, water, to keep silent, earth. The coming together of experience, achieving goals by synthesizing experiences, initiations of the past, accepting the gifts of the higher powers. Okay, but that doesn't seem at all like that. it's cool. I like it. Not at all like the other ones. This is why it's hard. They can't even make up their mind between the different decks what these things are supposed to mean. Let's see if uh, Lightseers is closer to Seven of Staves. Lightseer says challenge, grounding, and protecting yourself. Movement, growth, creative innovation, remaining ahead, feeling vulnerable, a sign to continue to share your ideas, self-expression. Shadow Seer. Defending yourself, being attacked, being misunderstood, a need to erect energetic boundaries. So no, this is still more um, like the others, and they're off on their own little tangent. But okay, it. I just have to remember that. So seven of cups, and yes. They're all cups this time. There is no breaking out and doing your own thing when it comes to cups. When it comes to receptacles that hold liquid, there can only be one term used, and that is cups. Cups and cups. 
Okay. Let us look at here, everybody. This is, looks like one of those uh, Ponzi schemes where they're looking for the ping pong. So we've got reoccurrence of snakes. We got some bat wings. We got a dragon. Dragons just do what they dragons are gonna do. The other ones are pretty much even five cent toro, pretty similar. And they've got castles and ghosties and dragons and things that you may want. This one looks like a heart. Ooh, it's kind of gruesome. So I'm seeing images of what can be um, possibilities. Some of them. Uh, some of them fantastical, some of them possible. Uh, but which are you going to go for? A fantastical one that doesn't exist and wastes all your energy? Or maybe you do have a chance to get something that... Uh, this one you just don't know. You're just going to... A little ladder. You're just going to pick something, but you don't know what's underneath. Uh, so, five cent to row. Opportunities. Okay, yeah, opportunities. Uh, negatively is illusions. So that would be... It appears to be an opportunity, but it's not. It's just clouds in the sky. Fantasy, choices, confusion, wishful thinking. Uh, wishful thinking if it's something that you want, like, but not possible. It's like, I want to play violin uh, at the... Carnegie Hall, that's it. Um, I don't play violin. Not a wit. I just don't play at all. So that would be wishful thinking. Okay, what do we have over here? It says, indicates a need for structure and discipline in your life. Well, that's... it does. You gotta have dreams. Um, you are not seeing things clearly. You are dealing with life on a very superficial level. So this basically this card says if you get this card, you just you have you you have dreams and those are wrong. You should never have dreams. Wishing for something doesn't make it happen. Duh. Risky ventures will fail. There are many more options open than you recognize. Possible religious, psychic, or unexplained event. So basically don't have dreams. That's that's depressing. This is like your dream is to try to get the gold from the dragon, which, you know, that's maybe very unrealistic. Um, I like choices better and opportunities. I mean, anything that's been invented was once a dream that somebody said would never happen. Think of air flight. Think of the combustion engine. The combustion engine, engine in theory, shouldn't work. Sun, not needles. Yes, I love saying that. Okay, seven of swords. We got. I do like the fact. I don't know why we've got these uh, ravens are the swords. So it looks like he's sneaking off with their feathers. That's doesn't look like he asked permission, and. Uh, well, dragon does what a dragon will do. He doesn't have to ask permission. Dragon's got a bunch of swords for, oh, for whatever reason. And this guy, looking back, very unwise. Never run with swords around your neck. You're asking to be decapitated. Bad idea. And here we have a two-headed raccoon. Two-headed raccoon doing something. She's looking sad, looking back at the doors. There's no handles on the door. So, did she try to go in and to return those, or she left but now can't go back in, so she can't change her decision? This guy's just happy. He's like, I got swords. I'm a happy guy. What? But betrayal? Two-faced? Deception? And then confession, conversely? Cheating? Cowardice? I'm not getting that. I'm not getting cheating, cowardice, and betrayal. She looks betrayed. He looks like an idiot running with swords on either side of his neck. Um, how do you get betrayal from that? And this he could be sneaky. This guy is definitely sneaky. What is... Many choices confront you. Only one is correct. Okay. All others, all others will bring disaster. So maybe the swords are choices here. 
Um, running away from decisions, problems, commitments makes things worse. Well, definitely for this guy if he's running away with swords around his neck. Um, of course, he is too, kind of. And he's holding with his hands. I mean, it just seems like a bloody business. Your first instinct will be to try to do everything on your own. Back off at the first sign that it isn't working. Well, that makes sense. Um, so... I'm just plain confused. I guess this is a card that I'll have to read with other cards to see what it feels like because each one of these gives off a um, fact. Seven of Swords. What has the dragon got to do with anything? Um, the dragon breath hides the camp from the enemies. It is a state of mind. Oh. Well, okay. I see the camp. I see the swords. But I didn't know it was hiding. That would be a deception. But would it be a betrayal? Hmm. Confusion abounds. I'm going to say Sevens of Swords. A confusing card. Last one. Pentacles, Sacred Circles, Pentacles, Buttons, Pentacles, Pentacles, and Pentacles. Okay, so farmer with his bounty, the bounty at the end of this of looks like fishing and and things from the field and vine, corn, so farming of all sorts. Um, he looks like an accountant counting his pentacles on his bonsai pentacle tree. Uh, here we have a platypus, and a platypus always keeps track of his buttons. Mm. Um, this one's sort of like this, farmer looking at his pentacle tree. Um, don't know what that means. And here looks like his pentacle potatoes. He's, he's uh, giving it energy to help it grow. Um, so seven of pentacle seems to be working or working and getting rewards but it, it's not just that you get something it's you have to put an effort for a return except for this guy I have no idea we'll read up on that but first perseverance um, rewards uh, conversely aimlessness delays and overwork so Perseverance, when you're doing something right, it's overworked. If you're doing things the wrong way, it's never going to work. And the quick and easy says, indicates a major turning point in your finances. Take a complete financial inventory. Yeah, that's guy right here. Money comes in from investments. You use the time to assess progress forward, oh, excuse me, toward career goals and financial plans. If there is little profit, radically change your direction on money issues. Choose low risk investments. That sounds like a Wall Street type thing. So I, I can get that from all those, except for <sighs> Universal Celtic. You're on another state of mind. Um, the innocence of a child makes the magic of goblins something natural. Um, I'm going to read that again. The innocence of a child makes the magic of a goblin something natural. Okay, I agree. But what does that have to do with the Seven of Pentacles? He's not working hard. He's just a kid. <laughs> Why is it always at least one card that just messes up everything else? Um, would be interesting in a reading, I guess, to see how that plays out against the other cards. Um, but I definitely don't get the Seven of Pentacles, Sacred Circles, Buttons, meaning from this guy. Okay. Well, again, um, if I got something really wrong, let me know. You feel free to comment. Um, I'm also looking for questions so that I can start practicing reading. So um, I've left in the description 
uh, an email to contact me with. And if you want to leave your question and you can pick a deck, they're numbered. You can put the name or the number of the deck. And um, I will do a reading and then I will post it on uh, YouTube. It will be public. So realize that. And um, thank you for your time.